And now on Bounce, this is a great time to discuss fireworks safety ahead of the 4th of July uh, holiday weekend. We've called on Officer Jonathan Frisk from CMPD joining us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Um, first, we want to talk about what's legal in North Carolina, legal fireworks in North Carolina. Yeah, the standard things that you can buy in a normal grocery store or anything like that, those mm -hmm. are all legal. Uh, your snake uh, glow worms, uh, your smoke devices, your par party poppers, uh, things like that, your wire uh, sparklers, those are all legal in North Carolina. Okay, so all of these here that we see on the table, these are all legal They are. in the, North Carolina? These okay. are all legal. They so are. then what would be considered illegal? Yeah, anything that would... Uh, uh, spark up into the air, uh, detonate mm -hmm. into the air, mm -hmm. uh, anything going into the air like a Roman candle or anything like that, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, bottle rockets, those are going to be illegal. Okay, and then do you want to talk about South Carolina and what's legal, the differences between yeah. what's legal there? A lot of people get that false sense thinking that they can go over to, uh, you know, Carowinds in that mm -hmm. area and purchase things and bring it back to North Carolina. The majority of the things that you uh, purchase over there in South Carolina, right there at Carowinds Boulevard, and you bring them back, the majority of those things are going to be illegal in North Carolina. Okay, so what are some of the things, um, I guess some of the charges somebody could face if they did something like that? Yeah, it, to uh, manufacture or um, possess uh, fireworks that are illegal, mm -hmm. uh, it's a class two misdemeanor in the state of North Carolina. Uh, it mm -hmm. can be punishable up to $500. And uh, six, it could be up to six months uh, in jail. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah. um, so do you guys get a lot of, uh, I guess, a spike in emergency calls then this time of year? We do. Uh, back in uh, 2013, mm -hmm. uh, across the country, there was over 11,000 incidents reported at local hospitals across the country uh, for burns wow. uh, between June 21st and July 21st. Uh, just in that month time, over 11,000. Uh, reported incidents. So, yeah, yeah obviously the uh, the hospitals stay very mm -hmm. busy as well. And and serious burns too. How how hot do these get? You know, some of those sparklers can get up to uh, 1,200 degrees. Wow. Okay. Yeah, very hot. And then, so to avoid something like that, what what kind of safety measures do you recommend? Well, obviously, you know, we would recommend. Um, you know, if, if you are out there with sparklers and, and you have your children out there mm -hmm. to make sure you're monitoring them. Uh, but typically we would say, you know, if you're going to be doing anything at all, uh, it is to have an adult uh, mm -hmm. be doing anything and keep your children away from the fireworks. Okay. Well, the, we were just discussing before we went on the air that the law doesn't change that often, but it's good to have a refresher course yeah. because this is, you know, once a year thing. Sure. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. For more information, you could go to WBTV.com. Look in the Web Extra section under the Home tab. We'll be right back.